Hello everyone. Uh, this is Spud Rare. Mrs. Spud Rare is there shopping with her sister today, so I am going to get to play the final... Uh, well, it's not the final, but it's the most recent episode for the Terran Garment called Eye of the Storm. The other, which is the, viewer, the mirror version of Vajir, go ahead and say that three times fast, has been summoned by the Terran Emperor. Jolon Shrew. The Terran Emperor has mobilized a fleet to support his efforts to subjugate the powerful entity known as the Other. In response, Starfleet is sending a strike force to the Mirror Universe. They intend to stop Don't the Terrans by any Epo means friend? necessary. The xenophobic nature of Terrans is well known. Should they gain control of the Other, it is logical to assume they will unleash their destructive power upon us. That is unacceptable. We did not survive the destruction of Romulus, only to be eradicated by the Terran Empire. Unfortunately, the political situation regarding this crisis is volatile. Many on New Romulus consider this to be a Federation problem. I do not agree with that position. But until I can rally support, our response will be somewhat limited. For now, I am sending you to join forces with Starfleet in the Mirror Universe. Report to Captain Sean on board the USS Enterprise once you've arrived. Time to leave the Wonderland. Hopefully loading screens won't crash on us. Never really read the little flavor text they had there, but like Pavel was in an episode of Discovery with that giant crystal transmitter. I don't even remember, to be honest. First season of Discovery, especially the first half, wasn't particularly memorable. Most people just remember the second half with the whole mirror universe and then the sudden end to the Klingon War. Ooh, finished the winter event. I haven't really played with the ship. I'd recommend checking out some of the other channels like Nick Stew. See if maybe they had some better insight than I had. I don't really know the ins and outs of this game. I watch them and hope for the best. We're now on the Enterprise. Damn, this thing looks great. I'm going to have to go check out my Mirror Enterprise and see if it looks this good. I will be disappointed if it does not have a nice bridge like this. Commander Matthias and Commander Winters. Welcome aboard. We can begin the briefing once Admiral Lita decides to grace us with her presence. Unclear. For some reason, she wanted to go over things here rather than on a secure comms channel. She's going to betray us with that paw wraith, I bet. True. And the stakes don't get much higher than they are now. He says that, but this is, like, a common thing for us. Incoming signal from the Enterprise. Uh, that is to say, the ISS Enterprise. Admiral Lita requests permission to beam aboard. Game is afoot. I'm going to minimize chat just so we have nice pictures. See more. I'm not really looking at my endeavors. Anything interesting? Not really. Looks that way. Permission granted, Kiona. Instruct them to beam her directly to the bridge. Ready to get to the bottom of this Terran cloak and dagger? As all ever be. This isn't gonna go well. Well, this certainly is a clean bridge, Captain. No blast marks, no blood stains on the carpet. To remind people what happens to traitors. I'll be sure to forward your feedback to Starfleet Command. In the meantime, I suggest going over any last-minute details we need to ensure. It's a pet peeve of mine, but it drives me crazy how they haven't fixed the lips. It's like they'll either start to work, not work at all, or just flap once during the sentence. Like a bad dub of a Godzilla movie. A captain, Captain, hold. I've been in every tactical meeting you've had. 
I know this board here. We're going back to my Pavo to engage the Terran fleet in battle before the Emperor can pull off whatever mad scheme he's conjured up. It's a bold, mad, and extremely dangerous plan. Plus, do I like it so much? I realize defeating the Emperor's fleet is a tall order. But we're hoping a victory at Pavo will give Ilea the opportunity to make contact with the other once more. Convince them that we're not their enemy. Taking down the Acheron isn't going to be easy, Captain. We Terrans have a saying. If you mean to slay the Acheron, don't <laughs> Believe me, when I get the shot, When you get the shot, not if. <laughs> You're awfully confident, Admiral. Let's just say you don't get as far as I have in the Terran Empire without having a damn good backup plan at all times. So you do your part, Captain, and I'll do mine. Things go according to plan. We'll send the Emperor back to Terra with his tail between his legs. And give your dogs a good shot at tracking down the other before they digitize us all. Good luck. I guess they let the actress ham it up. She seems to be having the most fun with this. I recommend assigning a team to monitor the actions of Liga's vessel. If she means to turn on us, or quit the fleet, we'll want to know as soon as possible. Agreed. Under the circumstances, I think an extra layer of security is a good idea. Make it happen, Kiona. I don't have a good feeling about this. Lita might decide it's in her best interest to side with the Emperor. Old habits tend to die hard, after all. We've come this far, I'd like to believe she'd stay the course to the end. But judging by she had what was either a mere prophet from Bajor or most likely a Paw Wraith, just because it's the mirror universe, and I'm pretty sure in one of the old logs from Terran, uh, the Terran reputation, she mentioned something about that. But I am quite positive she's been in league with the, uh, Paw Wraiths of the mirror universe. I hope you're right for all our I bet the power rates are the, the ones meantime, who won the war and the good profits are locked up. We set out for Pavo. See you there. Everyone's reporting in. Final preparations are wrapping up, and the fleet will be underway soon. We're ready as well. Acknowledged. Once we're on the other side, each squadron will form up around their assigned intel ship. Keep them in one piece. They're your ticket home. Understood. Our primary target is the ISS Acheron. She's the Terran flagship, commanded by the Emperor himself. We've identified a large number of capital ships and escorts in place to protect the Acheron at all costs. Expect heavy resistance. This is it, everyone. Good luck. We'll see you on the other side. Enterprise out. Enterprise to fleet. Prepare to get underway. It's good to see you again. Looking forward to a rematch with the Terrans? I know we are. I don't remember who those people are. Conchu the fleet. Intel vessels are standing by to generate the portal to the mirror universe. The honor is yours. We'll open the portal on your mark. Once more into the breach.
I am so much bigger than everybody. I never stop enjoying that. Like, I am an absolute behemoth. Attention Terran forces. This is Captain Bakel Shan. On behalf of the Alliance, I am asking you to stand down and disengage from the entity known as the Other. Any further attempts to subjugate this life form will be considered an act of aggression and will be dealt with accordingly. Yeah, that's not gonna work, but good on you for trying. Tough talk for someone about to have their backside handed to them, Captain. Check your sensors. There's no way you're getting the win here today, even with two Enterprises. <sighs> you still haven't figured out the star queen, have you, Sylvia? Let me break it down for you. Sean's little speech was the Velvet Glove. If you don't shut up and stand down, you're about to meet the Iron Fist. Funny thing about iron, Lita, it melts. And all of you idiots just flew into Boy. a crucible. Maybe we'll forge what's left of your ships into something useful when it's over. Or maybe we'll leave the debris field here as a monument to your complete and total failure. Tilly out. It's just a little too hammy for my tastes. And it kind of wastes the good actors. So much for diplomacy. Looks like they're going for our intel ships. Naturally, Terran captains will be looking for the big kill to impress the Emperor. Right. Let's make sure we deny it. Yeah, I just annihilated that entire thing. I didn't even see what I was doing. Status report. What just happened? Every ship in the fleet is trapped in chronoton stasis. For lack of a better term, we're stuck in a time bubble. Captain, we're being hailed by the Emperor. On screen. Your Majesty. Captain Sean, you fought well, all of you. But it's over. All good things must come to an end, after all. Over? This isn't over. It'll be over when we knock that smug look off your face. Wheaton. Well, you're certainly welcome to try when I return. And for now, my destiny, I guess. <laughs> That is insane. I guess he got traveler abilities too. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's too funny, as I'm so overpowered. And I'm not even got all the best in slots. Thanks for the assist, everyone, but I've got business elsewhere. With the Emperor. Called it. Alone? Against the Acheron and the other? That's suicide. Stick with the plan, Lita. We need you here, now. Oh, I'm flattered, Captain, but we both know the real fight this 
inside the other. With the big cheese himself. All you need to do is keep him busy out here. I got this. Lita out. Enterprise is the least of our problems. I'm reading Terran reinforcements approaching the system at high warp. very core of the other. Their mind, heart, and soul all lie ahead. There for the taking, the one with the strength to reach them. I will say this, Will Wheaton is doing a really good job of playing Emperor Crusher. I think he did good. Majesty, with your power we cannot fail. This weapon will be ours to command and all of our enemies will fall before it. Ours, Captain? I think you overestimate your role in this operation. Simply put, this is a game of chess between myself and the other. You compete for you. All of you are pawns. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Crystal Majesty. We await your orders. It's good to see at least one of you has sense, Inquisitor. Prepare to move out. I need to reach the central core and the other won't make it easy. We get jobs and we won't be caught. Fail me and the other will be the least. I'm picking up an energy signature nearby. It's repeating, like a signal. Someone wants our attention. Check it out, Inquisitor. As you command, Majesty. Is it making a bridge for us? Interesting. Huh. They could dematerialize a lot of things. The bridge, the air, us. Interesting gambit, wouldn't you say, Inquisitor? My opponent is welcoming me with open arms. May I remind you, Majesty, that a successful gambit involves an initial sacrifice in order to gain That's a good point. I'm looking forward to seeing what our host can do. Let's not keep it. That simple structure looks important. Tell it. Analysis. It's loaded with energy. Hard to get a clear reading. We need to get closer and scan it. Lovely. The other has centralized the island's power within this matrix. We'll need to disperse it in order to advance. Ow. There are six exterior power nodes surrounding the central matrix. We need to energize them and initiate a power transfer from the matrix. I suspect the other will reverse the polarity in active nodes once it becomes aware of our operations. If it does, reinitiate the transfer as soon as possible. Once all six nodes have been energized, we'll be able to move to the next island. I was going to give it some shit and be like, how the fuck does he know all this? But then I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, this is Wesley Crusher. Keep your eyes open for any defense systems, Inquisitor. The other might have more tricks up their sleeve after all. Who knows? He might get to shoot something and show off some more for the Emperor. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, try not to get fried by those power nodes, Inquisitor. That would be just... terrible. Save your spite for the enemy, Captain. Is it just me, or was that really too easy? Ah, countermeasures. Destroy that drone before it undoes your work. Ah, I'm caught. Oh, that hurt. Oh, look, another drone. Take it out. Quick. We're halfway there. Sound off if you see another one of those annoying drones. Oh, look what on a prayer. Two more to go. Keep at it. Just one more left. The power of math that works. Oh, man.
cow. So we gotta keep them all up. Well done. Go with the remaining drone so we can move on. Ow. Central Matrix to the power nodes, the island's operations returns to normal. Tricorder's picking up another one of those command consoles nearby. It's online and ready for access. See it? The control pillar. Right over there, Inquisitor. Deal with the new arrivals quickly. Oh, God. That was close. Eh, I was just curious. Another one of these mobile platforms. The other has locked down access to command systems on this island. We need to destabilize local data security in order to advance. There are three data security locks here. Introduce intrusion programs into them to disrupt them. We'll have to do this one lock at a time. Disrupting one will open the next to attack and so on. This level of hacking will take time. Considering what we've experienced so far, it's a sure bet the other will send more drones to stop us. So, you know, keep your guns handy. Let's get do started, it. Inquisitor. Everyone else get ready to fight. The other won't take kindly to our intrusion. Take out that defender. It will reverse our work as long as it takes to I like how the Emperor is doing nothing. He is standing there watching. Haha. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Oh boy. Huh, so that's not what I thought it was. Ready. The final 
long pass has started. Watch out for the defender. So far, so good. Okay. That did it. Local data security has been utterly disrupted. The command systems of this island belong to us. Confirmed, Majesty. The access pillar is operational and open for business. One less obstacle to overcome. Let's move. Move out. Get to the next island before the others can recruit their forces. Now this is an unexpected move. Huh? This access tower is keyed into my genetic profile. If anyone other than me attempts to use it, a self-destruct sequence will be triggered. They want to test me personally. <laughs> Battle of wits between the two. <laughs> this is probably an attempt to checkmate me. So, while I play this little game, I need you to deal with any defenses the other sends our way until I turn the tables on. Well... You wipe out any vermin that dares to attack you, Majesty. You can count on us. Ready weapons. You heard the Emperor. Protect him at all costs. Well, I do have, you know, my homies. We're making another push. Fire and hell. 
There's a lot of these suckers. Not good. Majesty, we're in trouble here. Hurry. No! Unacceptable, prisoner! We will not withdraw! That was crazy. All right, listen up. I'm only going to say this once. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in all of you. I would expect Terran officers of your caliber to be capable of fending off a few combat drones. But sadly, that was not the case. Instead, I had to intervene and use some of my personal power to eliminate the threat. Oh no! Or I could have used in the upcoming conflict with the other. Shut up, Will. I mean, apologies. If you do, it will be for the last time. Nothing else matters but my conquest of you. Do you understand? Not you, not Tilly, not the Empire. Nothing. We will see this through to the end, Majesty. And your inevitable victory for the Empire. I think you just heard him say he doesn't care about the Empire, but for the Empire. Very close to treason, aren't you, prisoner? Because we need you to pull this mission off, I'm willing to ignore it. Once. But if I hear anything like that from you again, I'll drop you at the very last moment. I won't let your weakness get in the way of my future. So, are we clear? Crystal, I'm going to betray moving. up with Find myself, I think, in an episode. Don't keep the Emperor waiting, Inquisitor. You're in enough trouble as it is. We're in the same boat, Captain. Don't forget me. We'll see about that, Lord. Gonna lie, whoever summons those red pillars suck. <coughs> Scan the area. Let's see what the other has in store for us here. Don't bother, I've already run a scan. I'm reading a dangerous buildup in the island's plasma injector systems. This looks intentional. <laughs> the other's about to turn the island into a plasma oven in a desperate attempt to slow us down. There are a number of heat dissipators on the island. I believe the other will trigger them to flood the area with intense heat and roast us alive. Damaging the dissipator units will engage automatic safety protocols and force them to retract. Once we've done that, to all of them, the island will enter a cooldown cycle and we can advance. Yes, sir. Okay, let's do this. And do it quickly. I'd rather not get... It wouldn't yeah, yeah, be a yeah. party without the drone. Avoid the heated tile. <laughs> Trying to get these dang rods.
I like how it knocks me into it. Empire. Yes. For the Empire. Why the long face, Inquisitor? Our stars are on the rise here. You're delusional. There's only one star here. It's about to go nova. Looks like the last island up there. End of the line. See what the inside of the other looks like. Huh, it's gonna be another parent satellite like Voyager. And here it is the machine. Sent from Terra long ago to seek out new worlds. Worlds ripe for conquest. And now, thanks to me, it will fulfill its purpose at last. Well, this is not good. Those idiots are all going to be conked up in one big thing, and absolutely no help. Oh, 
like how I'm shooting everything but her. Uh, that's a spot we're called. Sorry about that. Oh my god, try not to get set on fire. Find cover, find cover, find cover. Oh dear lord, help me. Thank you. Oh, and my posse. Oh boy, we're getting close there. Come on. Yes! Got her! Paul Rays are abandoning her. Wait! Come back! We can still win! Uh oh. Lose your mojo there, princess. Looks like there's only one god left around here. And honey, it ain't you. I'm really gonna enjoy this. Oh, hey, look, they even got a little mole on her character. <laughs> See? That's going to happen to all of us. You know I'm right. I think we've heard just about enough out of you, bitch. Same way. Just about you. All that. Is that the end of Tilly? Surprised you waited this long to take me. Better late than never, eh? Okay, now. I have an idea. It's a launch, but it could work. I'll be in touch. Assuming you survive this. Defiant. One to be left. Oh 
Oh boy. The Terran reinforcements are about to arrive. We'll need to deal with them as fast as possible if we're going to have a shot at helping Ilea reach out to the other. Something is wrong. There is an unusual energy surge at the center of Yama. A confluence of great power is happening. Watch closely. Here they come. All ships, battle stations. <laughs> And I just burned through those dudes like it was nothing. I picked up a bit of along the way. DeSoto the fleet, we're not going anywhere while the Acheron's around. Defend the intel ships and concentrate fire on the Acheron. Oh, I forgot about the plasma wave. Well, it's slow enough. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah! That was cool. Oh, wow, we destroyed it. Ilea, what is it? Father has merged with the Emperor. We must leave, Captain. We must leave. Now. Enterprise deplete. Initiate emergency transit. I think we're gonna have to find... Well, the Emperor is gonna rip through and come into our universe. And I think he's gonna find a way to like try and conquer the Voyager. But we're gonna have to have the Voyager take on the other. We made it back. Barely. Most of us anyway. You're right. I have a feeling this fight is just beginning. We're going to need every second to get ready for round two. I'd like to go over this more on the Enterprise. Please beam over as soon as you can. Before we left, I was able to sense conflict within the other. A struggle for control, for dominance. Voyager's going to convince the other ten together they'll repair the Emperor and digitize him the end. Not yet. Boom, 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 boom. The other is still a child in many ways. They may not be able to resist the Emperor for long. As long as neither one of them gets total control, we will still have a chance to disrupt the merging. We may then succeed where we failed today. I hope you're right. I really thought that. What's worse, just before I felt its presence leave me, I sensed fear in its company. Fear of the Emperor and what he's become. Oh shit. Put that in perspective, the Paul rates? If I remember in Deep Space Nine, and as they were gonna do some sort of ritual with Gold Dukai that is gonna like bathe the universe in fire is going to destroy the galaxy, literally. I didn't think so either until today. But something back 
power. Easy for you to say. You weren't there. You were the inquisitor. Figured the apocalypse was an all hands on deck situation, and anyone willing to stand against the king and his work safe. One thing your mirror self is good at is eliminating problems. They have something? Yeah? <laughs> Gives me something to look forward to in the face of controversial Armageddon. Anyway, I don't expect the world to be wrong for our magic powers. When the time comes, I'll be ready. Alright. I've received word from Starfleet Command. Every ship in the fleet is on alert. It's the same story throughout the Alliance as well. At this point, the Admiralty believes it's not a matter of if the Emperor will attack us, but when. Where do you think he'll strike next? Tactical analysis teams are running simulations as we speak, based Earth. on every bit of intel we have. Pablo. He has a keen military mind. I figure he'll start with our major star bases, shipyards, fleet supply stations. Anything vital to mounting a defense in key sectors. At that point, won't be much to stop him from eliminating the capital worlds. Being a Terran, I suspect he'll start with Earth. From there, he'll take out inhabited planets one by one in all four quadrants until there's nothing left. It'll be a state of galactic genocide. I hope I explain why he's going to destroy or digitize everything other than he's insane. As I said, the conflict between the Emperor and the other is not over. They are not of one mind. Are they vulnerable? Yes, but if they are fully merged, they will only be vulnerable to a tremendous level of power. Power even a massive star fleet cannot generate. I know of only one source of power strong enough to stand against them if that happens. I will go to Vija and seek their assistance in this conflict, but they are far from here. It will take time. Yes. Vija is a logical being. I believe it will realize the danger posed by the power of our enemies, a power that grows in strength with each passing moment. Such a power, driven by cruelty, cannot be unleashed. It would be the end of all things, even Egypt. I bet the long shot plan is to team up with the Inquisitor. Such a cool. It's the school. And it has a little. There, this is cool. Uh oh. What's going on with Pop? I wonder if our Wesley Crusher will appear with his Traveler powers to confront Wesley Crusher of the Mirror Universe. I already got him from war. The destruction of Pavo was a vulgar display of power. A terrifying attack meant to bring the rest of the galaxy to their knees. And yet, the Terran Emperor has made a grave miscalculation. We have survived the destruction of our home world. We have survived the fury of the Iconians and the treachery of Sila. We will survive the brutality of this enemy as well. 
Currently, the other is heading toward the heart of the Federation, Earth. There, Starfleet will make their last stand, and they will not do so alone. I will not see the fate of Romulus repeated in my lifetime. Set a course to the Sol system, best possible speed. May the elements preserve you and your crew in the battle to come. All right, and that is where the episode ends. Um. Karen. Storm Chasers. Huh. We'll have to check that out on another episode just to see um, how that goes. Alright. Well, that is it for this episode. And so now we're just waiting for the next one to come out. They haven't said anything yet that I know of. So once that comes out, I will eventually. Get a chance to play it. Thank you for watching. Bye.